There are a lot of flying geese and flying geese variations in the azul and black jewels quilt. Um, love flying geese. And this is my favorite flying geese variation and it's in the very first month. You're going to start with a square and you're going to sew a triangle to two sides. In this part, you're going to line up the corners of your triangle and your square before sewing and line up the corner of your triangle square before sewing. On this triangle, you are going to sew triangles to the top two sides to form a rectangle. When sewing, you want to extend the tip of the triangle past the edge of your base triangle on both sides. When you press out, you get this. I start trimming with the flying geese point facing towards me. This block is going to be trimmed to five and a half by three. And I don't know if you can see, but I have scotch tape on the points of the final size of my rectangle. I'm going to place the tip of this corner along this seam. I'm going to find the five and a half point and lay that exactly along the side on that seam. When you look at your square here, there should be a quarter inch seam from the top, from the edge of the ruler to the point and a quarter inch from here to your final trim. You're going to trim there, flip, line up with your five and a half and three inch marks, and trim. Yay! You can leave a little yay! 